Welcome to Global Tax Talks, Taxed in 60 Seconds. I'm Will Morris, and here are some things to watch out for in the coming weeks. Last week, I talked about the US elections, and while I'm not going to dive back into that, I do want to address one follow-on issue. There's been a lot of recent talk that Pillar 2 is dead or dying. In the most overheated version of this, it's stated that the US Congress will imminently pull OECD funding, and then Pillar 2 will collapse. That ain't happening, folks, and let me explain why. First, Pillar 2 is not a monolith. It has two distinct parts. The Income Inclusion Rule and or QDMTT is effectively nothing more than a country raising its own tax rate or CFC-like on subs further down the chain. Almost 50 countries have either final or draft legislation to enact one or both of those, and they are not going away. The other part of Pillar 2 is the UTPR. That, in turn, also splits into two, the first part of which enforces the minimum tax across corporate chains into countries which have neither an IAR nor QDMTT affecting them. But the second part of the UTPR applies up the chain to ultimate parent entity jurisdictions, again without an IAR or QDMTT. Now, the first element of the cross-chain is necessary to ensure that there are no free riders, and some variation of that will likely be needed and will be employed if there's a critical mass of countries to enforce, which it now seems there is, yes, even without the US and China. But the second half, up the chain, is potentially unnecessary overreach. Now, obviously, again, you need some variation on this one as well to stop a tax haven from offering itself as a tax-free parent jurisdiction. But its applicability to the US seems much less clear, given that the issue there mostly comes down to non-refundable credits. So, while, as I said before, I do expect to see changes to the UTPR, not least based on its seeming incompatibility with tax treaties and other international agreements, and particularly expect to see changes related to the UPE slash parent entity element, Pillar 2 as a fact of life is definitely not dead, and ignoring it at this point would really be a serious mistake. And just to cover off the funding piece briefly, obviously nobody knows what will happen, but any US changes would not have an impact until the next US financial year starting 11 months from now. And remember, the Republican majority, particularly in the House, is quite slim. Furthermore, the US is only plus or minus 20% of OECD funding, so the OECD, fund, OECD would likely continue without it. And one closing thought. Despite the ongoing stream of OECD guidance, the real action is elsewhere, namely the EU. The EU directive is legally in effect, and at this point, solving the Pillar 2 issue really requires action in Brussels, not Paris. So, to repeat, reports of the death of Pillar 2 are, at least for, so far, greatly exaggerated. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and come back next week so that you stay global tax ready. <laughs>